Good morning, everybody. So, I just want to say in my last post, you know, I had mentioned that some of y'all are uh, dumber than a box of rocks, and uh, I want to apologize for making that statement only if you feel like you are dumber than a box of rocks. <clears throat> I'm not going to edit my post. Um, I stand by what I say. Uh, I don't care if you don't like Donald Trump for the reasons of your own personal uh, being. You know, like if you if you personally just don't like him just because of this, this, and that, like whatever the case might be, cool. But some of y'all just cannot stop repeating the same shit over and over again, and that's who I'm talking about when it comes to dumber than a box of rocks. Y'all keep repeating the same shit over and over and over again. And it's like, all right, enough is enough, man. Let's fucking continue on. If you have no other insight uh, other than what's already been repeated over and over and over again, then just stop talking about it, man. You just don't belong in that, in, you know. And I, I'm not saying I'm the smartest motherfucker out there, but at the end of the day... You know, it's like I'm looking for new info every day versus some of y'all who just keep repeating the same shit over and over again. I'm just, I'm over it. Can we continue with something else? Oh, shit. Washington plates in front of me. You know you have nothing to fucking do. You know, you have your little house out here. You're retired. Just stay the fuck home. Honestly, stay the fuck home. There are people trying to get to work actual fucking essential people and i bet you i bet you they don't have a mask on i bet you they're i mean they're, the golf courses are fucking closed like i don't understand what the fuck you're doing out anyway i'm over it if you have nothing new to bring to the table shut the fuck up that's what my last post was basically trying to say yeah Okay, Dad, you have two options. A, staying quarantined in the house with Mom, or B... B, B, B. I'm not retarded. Dad's knees can't hear. I was born deaf. It wasn't my fault. Dad made the way who I am. Hey y'all, so you know, I said before, and I'll say it again, I'm not very apologetic uh, towards not being sympathetic for homeless people, um, you know, especially when, I, when I've when i seen them before, and I know who they are, and so on and so forth, but my wife, on the other hand, is, and I guess when she walked into Walmart yesterday, a homeless guy walked up to her and said, excuse me, can you buy me a small cup of the Yoplait? yogurt and she's like yeah sure I'll get you some Yopla yogurt but she also thought in her head that she was also going to get her you know a bottle uh, get that person a bottle of water some other snacks some chips you know and so on and so forth and stuff that she likes and uh yeah so she went ahead and did all that and when she went out to give the guy the bag of uh, goodies all he did was take the yogurt and then left the bag all right, so now you know. <laughs> so he left the bag in the cart, right? And and she looked, and all she saw was that one cart with only the bag that she had brought him out. All he did was take the yogurt and leave the rest of the stuff in that bag in the cart. And uh, I I just gotta I gotta show love to my wife, man. She just she's very, like I said, she, um, you know has a golden heart my wife is uh my my wife's fucking awesome guys she uh and that's why i actually do i actually am married to her i'm not like some of y'all fake motherfuckers who call your girlfriends your wives you're not even fucking engaged no this is my wife this is my rock you know what i mean so that's why i love her to death so my wife felt like she did a good thing right she's like 
you know, I did a good deed. And then she took a pause and she's like, well, you did a good deed. I'm like, what? She's like, uh, yeah, uh, I used your money to, to, to get all this. But it's only like three or four bucks. I was like, okay. Well, you shouldn't have told me this story. I told her, I was like, you shouldn't have told me this story. And she's like, why? Because I don't like to waste money. And if all he did was take the yogurt out of the bag and left a bunch of treats in a bag, you know, a bunch of goodies and stuff, stuff that you like, why didn't you go back and get that shit? And she's like, well, he already touched the bag and I wasn't sure if that would be dirty or not. I'm like, fuck that. That's wasted fucking money right there. I don't like to waste fucking money, guys. That makes no zero sense for me to make away, even if it's only three dollars. Fuck that. I work for that shit. That motherfucker sat out there all the fucking day looking for yogurt and shit. I think you know where this about to go. My salad, you sick fuck. How many eyes does a black rooster have? Two. How many wings does a black rooster have? Two. How many feet does a black rooster have? Two. How many whiskers does a white cat have? I don't know. Seems like you know a lot about black cock and not much about white pussy. Yikes. Passengers on board, Donald Trump, the Pope, Dr. Anthony Fossey, Hillary Clinton, and a 10-year-old schoolgirl. The plane is about to crash and there are only four parachutes, Dr. Fossey said. I need one. I have to help develop a cure for the global health crisis that is COVID-19. He straps on a parachute and jumps, the Pope said. I need one. I have to help spiritually guide people through the global health crisis that is COVID-19. He takes one and jumps, Hillary said. I need one. I'm the smartest woman in the United States. She takes one and jumps. President Trump pauses for a moment and then turns to the 10-year-old. After a deep sigh, he says tenderly, You can have the last parachute. I've lived my life. Yours is only starting. The child replies, Don't worry. There are two parachutes left. The smartest woman in the United States took my school backpack. So there's a video out there saying that big girls can't be snacks. That's cool. I know I'm not a snack. Snacks only help you get to the next meal. I'm more like a Thanksgiving dinner. When I'm done with you, not only are you going to be satisfied, you're going to need a nap. That I'm fucked the game up, it's shameless How y'all think y'all can hang with me? Ha! my name up, okay. brainless Thinking they can tame the beast No, they can't tame the beast Someone tell Jay that I'm in need of some cash If you don't bring it, it's okay I'll beat up Damon and Dash Y'all don't make sense Like Beyonce with no ass I'm in this shit for the paper Other than that, yo, I'll pass I can't reach these pinnacles With misdirection and acts Sex is a weapon Then my erection's on fab My arsenal for I uh, I don't think that's when you go, oh no, whoop, 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 Sorry, sorry, that's, that's not where the cart goes, that's a uh, curb. The cart corral's right over that way, over there. Sir, you're gonna force make me do the pit maneuver here. No, no, the cart corral's right over that way. I don't way. care, man, then you take it if you're I'm so not, concerned. I'm, I'm not the cart employee, I'm the cart narc. What I do, I don't put it, behind, it's not my, it's not yours, to me. Let me rephrase myself. This is your cart, not mine, sir. I'm right here, standing right here. You see me clearly, obviously, sir. What, right here. Right, this is a tempted car to side, sir. Sir, I'm trying to, I'm trying to put that cart behind my car. It's your cart, sir. I'm gonna call the police on you. That's fine. I talked to them. I'll, you, I'll, just put, you just put something behind my car. And I waved you down, showing you exactly where I it was. I see you when you put it there. Hey, don't start putting shit in front of my car, man. Yes, you did. I was waving I the whole time. You, you could have hit me then, sir. Well, I didn't see you. Hey, don't start putting shit in front of my car, man. I think you're lying, sir. You think whatever you want. And it's on tape, sir, as well. That's fine. You can call the police. I talk to them all day, every day. That's fine. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm trying to shame people into getting their carts back to where they are as opposed to throwing them off on the curb where they can run around and actually hurt people's cars. Let me scoot over. I'm going to call them. I'll be right here if they need me. I'm going to get the cart out of the way, though, while we're waiting. If they need my information. I got a card for you. 
Hello? All my information right here if you need it, sir. Oh, I don't need it. It's right here. It's Carton Arcs. Okay. Got our phone number and everything if you need it. Hello? Hi, ma'am. I'm sorry. Um, I wanted to report this guy here. I'm at here on, uh, on Commonwealth in uh, Sierra Alhambra. I guess he's doing a... I guess he's doing a YouTube channel. No, it's a public service. It's called the Carton Arc. Carton Arcs. The thing on his chest says Carton Arcs. Yes. Apparently, he's uh, filming people that don't take their carts back to the. That would be you. To their location. Um, as I was backing up, he put the cart behind my car. Not as and beforehand. Guess, and um, you know. He's misstating you know. the facts. I have it on video. Hey, don't start shit in front of my car, man. I mean, I didn't see when he put the cart behind. That's a lie. I, I told him what I was doing. I waved. I was waving the entire time. Okay. If he didn't hit the cart, he would have hit me. Hey, don't start shit in front of my car, man. Filing a, a false police report is an actual crime. You have it on film that you put the cart, right? I have it on film that I was waving to you, I didn't and see you. you didn't see me. No. Did you back up without looking in your rearview mirror. No, I didn't see you. Hey, don't start shit in front of my car, man. You didn't see me I, right I here expect, waving my hand. No, I didn't expect you to do that. Hey, don't start shit in front of my car, man. You did. So you just hit, you could, view, then you didn't see me it. directly behind you? I Are you blind, it. sir? But, I mean, you hit my car. I did not hit your car. You hit look, the cart. Look what happened here. That's not, oh, please, sir, I've got oh, it on video. That was you. already there. Oh, well. I've got a previous before and after. Fine. We'll see. I, we will see because if are you pulling, are you saying you pull out of your spot without looking behind you? You could hit a kid. You could hit me. You could hit anybody. You're completely in the wrong and you're trying to court yourself into the right. Are you going to give up at any point and admit defeat? Like... You were lazy. I gave you a chance to put your cart back. You didn't take it. Now you're involving the police, which is going to make you look even worse. And again, filing a false report. I already heard you lie to the police. So wait, my question is, shouldn't an Audi Q5 or Q6 or whatever it is, shouldn't it have a backup camera? I mean, and again, he wasn't looking in his rearview mirror to see who's behind him. He knew who was behind him. He attempted to hit somebody. Real shit. Hey, Dad, can I go to a party tonight? You gonna drink? No. You gonna do drugs? No. You gonna have sex? No! Where the fuck do you wanna go? Hey, babe. What? You know sex is equivalent to running six miles? Who the hell runs six miles in 30 seconds? Fuck you. Hey, Dad. What? I lost my V-card. What the fuck's the V-card? Virginity. Oh, my God. Is that why the goats are all fucked up? <laughs> Babe, can you show me how to dance Mexican music? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, you want the, the, all the steps? Yes. Okay, first step, you gotta, like, you gotta go pee, like, ooh, it's bad, you know? <laughs> then you start cutting the grass. And then you get crazy. <laughs> The same on the game. Hey, Donald Trump is your president, and if you like it or not, keep the energy you have. How old are you? Nine. Nine? Do you go to school? Yes. Yeah. Where do you go to school, Jerome? I did it over to the elementary school. I see. What is your sister's name? Lois. That's Lois. And uh, what are your other sister's names? Catherine and Beulah. Catherine and Beulah. What happened to your foot, Jerome? Dig a nail in out there by the wash house. So you drove a nail in out by the wash house. What did your mother do for that? She put some alcohol on it. Where do you sleep, Jerome? In this bed. You have this big bed? Yeah, sir. What happened? How did you get that hole in that bed there, Jerome? The rats. The what? Rats. Now, Jerome, you are taking care of Kathy of Beulah and Lois. Yes. Sir. Now, are you going to give them lunch today? Yes. Sir. What are you going to feed them? I don't know, sir. Uh, do you have any food here to give them? Yes. Sir. I see. What time does your mother come home? I don't know. Sir. The following day, Aline King, the mother of Jerome, Kathy, Lois, and Beulah, again was picking beans. Aileen King, I saw your children yesterday at the Okeechobee camp. Why didn't you put them in the nursery? I don't make enough to pay for it. How much does it cost to put them in? Eighty-five cents. Eighty-five cents. That's right. Aileen, what time did you come out the field this morning? 
Six o'clock. What time would you get home? About 3.30 to 4 o'clock. Six this morning to 4 o'clock this afternoon. That's right. How much did you earn? A dollar. One dollar? That's right. One dollar. Is that because the beans were of poor quality? That's right. Has this happened before? That's right. Uh, how much will your food cost you today? About two dollars. Aileen, how old are you? Twenty-nine. How many children do you have? Fourteen. How old were you when you first started working in the fields? Eight. You've been working 21 years in the fields? That's right. Aileen, do you ever think you'll be able to get out of this kind of work? No, sir. We are here to celebrate greatness for 20 years. For the final time, number 24 on the floor, 6-6. school, five-time world champion, Kobe Bryant. Turn back the clock there to block Trevor Booker. And desperate to get to the basket and score. And he does. Hey. Every night he gives him a strong move. Kobe to the basket. Oh, pretty. Kobe. Oh, boy. Gets a two. Oh, boy. Four in a row for Bryant. Look at Kobe. Give me the ball. Feeling it. Firing. Here he is for three. To the basket, Kobe. They wanted a dunk, though. Yeah, they're happy with the hoop. Bryant on the drive to the basket, hangs, and scores. There you go. Kobe baseline, over Neto, has 32. A 40-point game for the 100. And 22nd time. Bryant here. Hits another three. 43. Oh. 45. Bryant gets to the basket. And has 47 points. See if he gets 50 here. Bryant. Going to the basket. Kobe yes. Bryant. There it is. A 50-point game in his farewell. Final minute 30. Bryant from 14. Has 53. Unbelievable stuff tonight. Kobe's got the Lakers last tip. Bryant for three. Go! Oh! Oh! oh. 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 One last gamer. Bryant on the move with the jumper. He oh, got it. My. 58 points. And the Lakers win. out Kobe Bryant's career with a win and one of the great farewell performances in any sport. Man. Man. Guys, you know, it's, uh, I can't believe how fast 20 years went by. I mean, this is crazy. To be standing here at center court with you guys, my teammates behind me, and uh, appreciating all this you know, the journey that we've been on. And uh, all I can do here is just thank you guys. Thank you guys for all the years of support. Thank you guys for all the motivation. Thank you for all the inspiration. You guys will always be in my heart. And uh, I sincerely, sincerely appreciate it. No words can describe how I feel about you guys. And uh, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I, God, I love you guys. And uh, I love you guys. 
and uh, Mamba out. In his final night, he set the season high most points scored by a player in the NBA this year. Go figure, all right? Go figure. Come here. It's a beautiful time to be able to have this moment with my family and uh, have the finish that we've had. And uh, amazing how fast time goes, man. It's extremely blessed and extremely appreciated. You know, dream come true.